Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how I assembled my 450 watt pulse start metal halide fixture that's homemade and what you would need. So let's get started. So obviously first you'll need wire nuts for to put all your wires together. Um, to make it you would have, if it's 150 watt, I don't know if any other wattage but uh, I have a 150 watt pole start metal halide ballast kit. You need a box like this, a square box. You need three extensions like this, a ballast kit obviously like this, uh, a grounded cord because you're gonna be. I want to be, uh, which you can do this too. Uh, ground the metal box because it, obviously it's metal. Um, you can put some rubber feet on here if you want, so you won't scratch certain surfaces. Uh, a socket, ceramic, no plastic, not plastic, No, don't use plastic. Uh, these wires didn't come with it, that's separate. And an adapter to convert a socket to a square fixture. Um, you obviously need a ballast kit. This ballast kit is this ballast and the cool uh, this ballast uh, wire around ballast and igniter is made by Demar, and the capacitor I have is made by uh, Atlas, so it's a pretty good ballast. So here it's a pole it's a 150 watt pole start metal halide ballast, and uh, yeah, so that's what you would kind of need. So anyway, um. First of all, I'm going to start taping these wires underneath because I don't need those taps. Uh, this this is multi-tap, this ballast. It's 120, 208, 240, and 277. I'm using 120, which is this orange one right here. So, let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to um, take your electrical box and you're going to bend these uh, knockouts up a little bit so to level it out to make it flat so the ballast can sit on them because there's this uh, bump right here that's already there so I just use push up these knockouts to level it out and it should be sitting in there flat the next thing to do is to take uh, one of the extensions and just put it in uh, like this slide it in like this then we'll put the ballast in, which should go like this. Actually, take this off, put the ballast in first so I won't scratch my fingers or get pricked or anything. Careful not to do anything, scratch the wires or anything on the core. Uh, and then it's like that. Put it like this. You don't. You can't put it sideways, you have to put it vertical like this. Uh, have the wires that come out f right here up and not downwards otherwise you'll ruin them so the next thing to do take these wires up like this and we're going to grab another extension I mean the first extension excuse me not another one and put it like this carefully get the wires in do not scratch any of them careful not to scratch anything and we'll ruin it so we have it in now we need to slide this extension in if I can do that get the screw get that screw should go in like that get a screwdriver it's behind me the screwdriver that I have we're going to tighten it you can center it to make sure it's flat on the outside as possible if you want or you can just put it on I don't care make sure it's nice and tight because you don't want it coming loose otherwise you have to go back down to the one that came loose and tighten it again so make sure it's tight so you won't have any problems Ugh. This screwdriver slipped a little bit. Let me get a flathead screwdriver. Uh, that's the wrong side because I want a bigger head, a flathead. Uh, 
The Phillips head seems to slip a lot easier. The screws come with the Phillips or flat head, but we use the flat head if you want. So make sure these are really tight and snug. Yeah, there we go. So some of these wires are going to be moved over. Um, Anyway, we'll put this wire, move this wire out of the way, I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah, so we'll move this wire down there, this wire is going to go for the capacitor, these two, this one, uh, the com, my balance is like this, it has a com, the com, one of the common wires, there's two common wires that come out of the ballast, there's no resistance between them, and they both, uh, one of them, uh, of the common and the wire that's labeled cap goes the capacitor that comes with it. So there's a capacitor that comes with this ballast. So we'll do that. We'll wire it up. Um, let's just make sure all our wires are good to go. So we have the second common right here. Um, we'll put that down around, wrap it around. The blue wire is for the igniter, just to let you know. Uh, not all ballasts. This ballast kit I have, this brand, is coated, uh, color coded like this, but not all ballasts might be like that. So don't always uh, follow uh, what the wires I'm showing here. Uh, read your diagrams if they're different colors, or read if they're labeled like cap and whatnot, and do it that way. But uh, don't always uh, listen to me because you might have a different ballast brand and it might be a different label. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get these wires to go underneath so they won't be in a way. Oh well. I'll figure it out. Don't worry. Nothing to worry. Uh, extremely difficult. It's not easy. So in a way, it's not easy for me to do that. These wires. Make sure they're nice and snug. Make sure there's no shortens. Make sure you be careful with your wires too. Pretty sure that's how. It, no, that's not how they put it in the first place. So we'll, uh, take them back up again. Take that one twenty, which got caught on something. Crap. It's okay. Nothing to worry about. All I have to do is just put this back in. It just takes a little bit of time. The wires are not underneath the ballast. Make sure they're over on it, not underneath it, so that they won't sit on. You don't want it sitting on the other taps. If it sits on the other tap wires, they're voltage wires. Then it might uh, crush them, and there's some power that comes off of them. We'll just get a long screwdriver and push them down there. Try not to scratch the insulated wires of the coil. Push that two foot of volt wire. I just forgot that tape. I should have taped it. Okay. Sorry, this is taking a little bit of time. I apologize. So. The next thing you need to do is you need to get your second extender right here. And we should be able to slide it, turn it this way, so it's like this. Uh, get it down there nice and good. Make sure the wires are up here nicely, not like pinch or anything. Nicely, some of the wires are going to be in there, which I don't want to like that. Make sure the wires are good. Just give me a second, I'm trying to fix something. There we go. Center it, if you, as you can. We're going to, I'm just going to, uh, kind of tighten these up so it won't move a bit. Um, and we'll just basically do that. Um, yeah. So 
so we'll just basically wrap that wire to the side not worrying about it like that so don't worry this is not this is just uh, the first extension this is not the last one I mean this is the second extension not the last one make sure it's nice and tight you don't want it moving I mean if you need to if you want to you want to get a bigger box than this fixture uh, do that do not mount this on the ceiling because the ballast moves up and down it's not mounting against the box this is just for like a table lamp or something uh, it's just homemade it doesn't have to be this uh, this is just a homemade fixture it's not like uh, it's gonna be like for the ceiling or anything but uh, yeah Tight. <sighs> make sure it's tight so it will never come apart. <sighs> so there you go. It's getting quite heavy with the uh, ballast. So we'll just do it that way. And we'll just do it that So. So, we'll just wire the capacitor in, and yeah, so we'll just move these, I think we'll just move these wires all the way for now, and just wire the capacitor in. So we'll get our cap right here, we'll just do it like this, if I can. This is a pain in the butt to do it. It's not easy. And I'll just figure it out. Hold on a second. Just give me a second. So we'll just basically wire the capacitor like this. These wires will go like this. And one wire will go to this new common like this. The other wire will go to this cap wire, capacitor wire that's labeled, like that. If I label. Yeah, I think I did something different. Oh well. I'll just change it up. Hold on a second. Oh, why did I undo it? Stupid. Anyway, let me put it back together. Um, then the other wire is going right here. So, there we go. I better hurry because. Jeez, it's been, it's not really that long, it doesn't really seem, but it kind of is long of a video. But I try, I try to make short videos. I don't try, I don't, I try not to make so long of a video that it's going to take forever, but I do. I want to do it carefully because otherwise I don't want to screw something up and then either wiring I screwed up or what, but I'm just being careful. That's the thing I worry about. That's one thing I worry about, being careful in what I'm wiring. So we'll just put that capacitor right there. The other thing we have to wire in now is the igniter. Now this is a pulse start metal helide fixture, so it obviously has the igniter, like I just said. So we'll just put the igniter in like this. We'll just fix it so it's nice and neat. Wires. 
Make sure the wires are good and not too tight. Be careful with the wires, not mess them up. Um, so the thing is, this is how it's going to be wired. We're going to uh, pull these wires up, get that wire in like that. Now, the blue wire is the first wire we're going to connect. Um, this blue wire is going to the blue wire from the ballast that is for the igniter, the power to power the igniter. So use the power of the igniter. So the blue wire we're going to just connect right here. Since this igniter puts out high voltage, I have wire nuts, but I am going to put electrical tape around the ends of the wire nuts so no energy leaks from the wire nuts because otherwise not all the energy will go through the lamp to strike it. What I mean is I'm going to put wrapper electrical tape around that. Just for protection. If I can find it. I should have done it with the other uh, sodium picture I made. But I didn't. I'll do it someday, but not today. So basically I get the electrical tape out it's just standard electrical tape don't use scotch tape use electrical tape that's what's for um, get my scissors out there we go what I do is put that around there this is how I wire electrical up same with my dad because it's better to put electrical tape around it in case little pieces of wire come out it's good to put electrical tape around it so it keeps all the wires in snug in even though the elect the wire nut locks it in use wire I, I, I recommend using uh, well, uh, electrical tape after putting the wire nut in because it uh, especially like this where energy can leak out when this fixture is grounded energy can leak from the fixture energy can leak from the igniter excuse me into the grounded fixture the metal box so put the thing down nicely capacitor everything's good now without being said we'll put the box together this is the last extension you can add the switch if you want just make sure when you add it, the wires are pointing downwards. And I'll tell you why in a minute. And after, like, in a little bit, after a while. So I'm going to put this together. If I can get the capacitor to stay still. There we go. So now, I am going to do this. I'm going to tighten this screw, okay? This is how I ground it. Okay, this is how I ground it. I'm going to tighten the screw. Actually, this box is crooked. Bent it so it's equal square. And then after that, sorry I was being silent, I don't know why. Um, but anyway, I'm going to hold the wire. This is how I ground it. I ground it to the screw that's closest to where the knockout is. Um, put the wire around the screw. Sorry for taking up the uh, camera and trying to look on the other side around the screw and tighten it while holding that screw that wire in place so it won't peek out the side what I'm going to do take that 
screwdriver, push it in more, keep it in. Do not let it peek out so it can stay in there. And we're going to wire this up. We'll close this up. There we go. So it's tight, tight together, solid. Now we just have to do the rest of the electrical. So the rest of the electrical, we take this wire from the hot goes to one wire of the switch. The switch is 120 volt. Just don't worry, it is 120 volt. Just let you know. This is 120 volt, and even though it's not like 4,000 volt poles where it can just see through, like high, very high voltage, I still put electrical tape because I don't want it touching grounded box, the grounded box. So that's safety. Tuck that down there. It's for safety. And we take the neutral wire. Well, first we're going to wire up the switch. We're not going to worry about the uh, thing at all. Wire up the 120 first, the hot, so you get that out of the way. So next you want to take the 120 volt wire that goes to the ballast. Goes to the other end of the switch. It's, it's just a single, it's just a no, regular switch. It comes with two wires. Then you'll take your wire nut and I think I had electrical tape on here this tape I took off earlier so I just want to make a video of it me putting it together so now we'll just move these wires out of the way for a second tuck that wire down there make sure it's not in the way and it's good to go so the next thing to do is to take your sockets, all your wires, you want to take all your wires, okay, all the neutral wires, and your socket. Uh, these wires on here came with a wire kit, a uh, wire assortment that I got from Harbor Freight. If you have a Harbor Freight by your store, then you can probably get this. This is 18 gauge, I'm pretty sure, wire. Uh, I'm just using the red colored, red color as positive and the blue as negative uh, part. And this is how you want to wire it. The brass colored screw right here goes to the, the center part, center point. And the blue wire, the silver colored one, goes to the shell, the outer shell. So, make sure your wires are in good around the screw so they won't come out over time. Which I'm going to fix it because I think it probably came out over time. Well, I didn't do really a good job. So, I'm going to undo that. Use a screwdriver and push it under the socket a little better. Copper wire works the best than aluminum because it's it's more conductive than aluminum. So, oh crap, that was terrible. Do not get plastic. Again, do not get plastic. Use ceramic. Okay. So now we have the thing fixed. So we're going to take all the neutral wires from the cord, common from the ballast, igniter, and that goes to the lamp socket. They're all going to be connected together like this. So we got that. It's, it's very difficult, but you can get it. You'll get it. It's very difficult to do four wires at a time because it, they can move around, come loose, and stuff. And I hope this is not too long for some of you guys, but I hope this is very helpful. It's probably a very good video on how I did this. 
before uh, after I made uh, showed you a video of the fixture but uh, I want to show you the whole thing I did it takes a while it took longer before this to put it together because I had to figure out how I was going to do it but now I already know how to put that wire together put it all those wires together full wire make sure it's tight you don't need to twist the pre-twist the wires together because uh, uh, the wire nut does that for you. Do not turn the wires counterclockwise because when it comes to taking the wire nut off, it's going to be a pain. It's almost impossible to take the wire off if you turn the wires counterclockwise. Like if you turn them left. That's what I meant to say. So, always do it clockwise. So, if you have to take the wire nut off at some point for ballast replacement or something, then it's a lot easier to uh, do it clockwise than counterclockwise and put it suck in a better position so I can let me fit that in there and do it in a better position so I can uh, it's easier to reach the wires so I can put them together instead of stretching that wire over so we're gonna do that and then we'll just basically uh, put that last wire nut on yeah, I already had electrical tape, but this is not helping. Just undo that. Fix that. There we go. Let's see if we can do this. So that's done. Oops, it's okay. Everything stayed together. That's why you have wire nuts. Well, that's one reason. And another reason you know you want to have wire nuts so shorting is not possible. So anyway, we'll put, talk everything down there. We're done with that. Now. Last thing to do, close it all up. You do have to knock out these two knockouts. Or you can just do one if you don't need the switch. If you don't want to add a switch. But the switch I think is handy so you won't have to keep on plugging and plugging in. We'll just wear the socket, the outlet down. And it'll be a, and the outlet won't make contact after a long time of unplugging and plugging things in all the time. But, yeah. Just make sure it's tight on. No worries, I just cut myself. Oh well, be right back. Sorry about that. So I'm back from accidentally cutting myself. Sorry about that. Oh well, it, did, it doesn't really hurt. It's just like uh, the screwdriver got me right here. It's okay. It didn't cut my nail. It just cut a skin right there. It's okay. Sorry for showing that. It's disturbing, but accidents happen. So we're ready to turn this on. Before we put the bulb in, let's plug it in and see if we hear the igniter it's not making any noise right now because I have to turn the switch on the fixture 
the switch is going to be backwards, so that's how it is in order to have the wires down. Here we go. So you can hear the igniter. It means it's working. No explosions. Great. Nothing's working bad. So all we need to do is test it. Do not turn, put the bulb in while the fixture's on. Anyway, so here we go. Let's see if it works. That's just the magnetic field against the box. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Once the lamp warms up, it will uh, quiet down. The bulb rattles because of the vibration. It's not really good for the bulb, but the ballast does that. Get the quiet down. There we go. And I hope you enjoyed this video of my assembly of my homemade Pulse Start 150 watt metal halide fixture. Also, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.